Shweta. Welcome to the show. We're very excited to have you here. Hi, Ashaya. I am equally excited to be a part of your show and I'm really looking forward to some interesting conversations with you. It sounds like you have an exciting job. Would you like to tell us anything about it? Yes, why not? Um, so, a part, I'm a professor at Aarhus University in Denmark. A part of my job is to actually teach undergraduate, masters and PhD students about electronics. And a part of my job is to do research, which basically means that I'm trying to find new solutions, trying to make new devices um, and trying to uh, build new products uh, in, in my research. Do you have any products that you're specifically working on right now? Yes, actually, I have few products which relate to healthcare uh, and also what we call as electronic textiles, that is putting electronics on your clothes. Uh, in healthcare products, we are looking at some uh, products that we have made for Corona patients. We also have made some um, uh, devices for wounds, like you, when you have a bruise, you know, how do the doctors monitor your bruise and your wounds? So that's, that's a part of my project. Yeah. Do you think there's any fun science activities that kids can do at home with their parents? Absolutely. Uh, I, my son, I have a son of your age, uh, he's eight. And I think parents can do a lot of things with their kids and, and to gain, to have them interested in science. For example, I, I'll tell you, uh, one thing that I do with Shrey is that every week I ask him on Monday or Tuesday a question about science, let's say, why do you think the sky is blue? Or let's say, why do you think the droplets that you, the rain droplets are spherical in shape? Or why do you think, or how do you think rockets get launched? Why doesn't gravity work on these rockets? And his task is to take one week, go to Google, try to find an answer to it. And at the end of the week, we actually discuss these answers at the dining table. He could be wrong, he could be right, but the idea is that he needs to find the answers and sometimes he's very interested in certain subjects, some of them not. I also have some links uh, that I can share with you later where uh, actually the parents can act play games with the kids on the screen. So when we, you know, all of us are locked down in Corona times, we all have tablets, screens. So let's do some fun activity on science and, and there are a lot of websites out there when you can play games on science. That sounds very interesting. What do you think your son is most interested about? Any science subject? Most of the kids. Are, are you talking about kids in general or my kid? Um, kids in general. Well, it's very hard to say, Ashaya, because different kids have different interests. For example, I can tell you that my son is very interested in solar systems. Um, I also have some friends, kids who are interested more in nature. So they want to know all about flowers and, you know, um, how animal, all about animal stuff. Um, so it depends. But, but I think um, everything is science. Everything is technology. You know, whether you talk about nature, whether you talk about animals, you want to know about solar system, what NASA is doing, uh, how the weather is formed or how the phone works how your microwave works in, in, in the uh, home. So it depends on, on a particular kid, but uh, there are resources available to help you. What are you most interested about? I'm very much interested to learn about uh, human body and how I can help the human body. Um, when I was growing up, actually, I was very much interested in biology and the human body, but I was very scared to be a doctor because I, I thought that in, in my times you had to open, you know, the dead bodies and cut them and do the operation. And I was very scared. So I, my second love was maths and engineering. So I decided to be an engineer, but then I decided that maybe as an engineer, I can find solutions for healthcare to help the doctors and the nurses and that's what I'm doing right now with my work. So uh, anything to do with body basically excites me. Do you think there are many female scientists in the world? Not really. Um, and, and that's a problem. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, being a staunch vocal advocator of this, you're already familiar. I was the only woman in my class uh, of 60. Um, 
I am only the third, one of the three professors in the entire department of uh, 70 uh, professors. So you don't see a lot of women there. You don't see a lot of women scientists there. Uh, and I think we need to change that. At least you need to change that, Ashaya. Yeah, that is a very big problem. Um, do you think you um, think that more women should be scientists, doctors, engineers and stuff like that? First of all, I would say that you can be or any kid can be uh, whatever they want to be. If you are interested in music, go for music. If you are interested in science, go for science. Do what makes you happy. That's the most important thing. However, yes, there is a problem of less women in, in science. Um, and that is a problem because you know that uh, our brains as, as a boy and a girl, they are very different. So if you have only men in a field, they all think more or less the same way. They don't have a different perception. So when you bring in more women, you actually get a different side of the problem. You get new ways of solving the problem. So that, that's why we need that balance to happen in all. And I, I'm not saying about science, but in all the fields, whether it's music, it's finance, it's business, we need more women out there. Yes. Yes, I, I strongly agree with you. Um, do you want to send a message to any female children out there saying that they can do whatever they want? Yes, absolutely. I, I would say not just female and girls out there, but I want to say to you who as, as kids that, as I said earlier, the most important thing is to find what drives you, what makes you happy, what makes you passionate. For example, my work makes me really get up in the morning and go to my office. I love my work. And I think that's the most important thing because like if you love doing games, you would, you know, eat quickly, you will, you know, do everything quickly in order to be in front of your computer, right? And, and that's the important thing. So my message to everyone out there is find what makes you happy, whether it's coding, it's programming, it's making cartoons, it's drawing, it's painting, and then pursue it. The second thing I want to tell you is that um, there is always help available. Sometimes kids feel that maybe the, the thing that I like is not, uh, there are not many people doing it and I don't have anyone to talk to. Talk to your parents, find people, talk to your teachers. There are always people who will give you the links, give you the resources uh, to, to, you know, pursue whatever dream you are want, you want to do it. And last thing is that don't be shut down by anyone. When I say, okay, uh, let's say, Ashaya, you want to become a firewoman tomorrow. You know, you want to fight the fire, being the fire brigade or whatever. And then you don't see any females out there who are doing it. And people say, oh no, Ashaya, this is not for you. This is not for the girls. Don't let anyone put that in your mind. You can do whatever you want to do. And that's the most important thing. So just fight the society. Just think what you want to do and go for it. Yes, that is what um, women should do. Like, if there are only men, um, let's take my friend. Um, she wants to play rugby, like contact rugby. Um, there's no other girls out there. There are only boys playing it. She doesn't care. She's still going to play and she is still playing. Yeah, I, I, I applaud your friend. And I applaud you as well because I know you would be supporting her whatever she wants to do. And I think we need that gang around us, you know, uh, that if I want to do something that my friends support me, like your mother was there, she has seen it. I, I she's, she's working, I support her. We, we, we make our own gang and then we go out and do whatever we want to do and nobody should stop us. And this is a free world. Um, and, and I think this is a very important message for, uh, for, for all the kids, and especially for, for girls out there that uh, you can do whatever you want yeah is there anything that you would like to add before we finish off no shaya i really had some uh, good conversation with you and 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 i think it's a fantastic initiative i'm super impressed shaya that you're doing this and i think girls and all the young kids need that kind of platform and you are making the best use of the technology so i wish you really all the best thank you very much thank you it was a pleasure Bye. Bye.